In part 1 previous video regarding harmonic analysis, I have already discussed about how to start from the scratch, how to uh, model this linear and nonlinear loads and other power system components and how to simulate that one that one and also the plotting this plotting how to do that spectrum how to see this uh, waveform on the spectrum in that previous video i have already covered and quickly i will go to the part two in this video so what i will cover in this part two video that uh, using that ieee 519 standard tables i will validate whether these total harmonic distortion values this voltage distortion or the individual current distortion what wh whatever we are getting from this etap simulation software whether this will be acceptable or not or whether there is any requirement of the you know that mitigation of this harmonic using using uh, filter that we will validate but the filter sizing that will be covered in a separate uh, video how to mitigate that one using the filter and the sizing calculation of that filter that will be covered in a separate video in this video i am going to validate uh, with the ieee 519 table you know this this one is the table this is the voltage distortion limits and this is the current harmonic distortion limits so i am going to validate that one so for that purpose this was the this was the plain linear load because there is no harmonic source of harmonic here so simply i will uh, i will open this i will open this load so in this simple network there is a grid there is a transformer 10 mba transformer and there is a static load connected here and it is the source of harmonic as well because we have defined here you know from the library we have used this six pulse harmonic so it's a very simple network now let's once again run this harmonic analysis okay so the total harmonic distortion voltage harmonic distortion this is 6.58 percentage If we see this is the this is the table from IEEE 519 here voltage distortion limits bus voltage at PCC means point of common coupling so in our case this is 11 kb that means it will come under this uh, row number two voltage is greater than 1 kb and less than equals to 69 kb that means 11 kb is falling under this row individual harmonic content that should be limited to 3% and total harmonic distortion percentage THD that should be below 5% so it should be 5% voltage distortion limit but in our case it is more than 5% so that's why it is not acceptable that means IEEE 519 is not allowing this much of total harmonic distortion so what to do that how to mitigate this how to mitigate this voltage harmonic distortion okay for that purpose for that purpose simply we can use another harmonic model instead of six pulse if we use the 12 pulse then the waveform will be then the waveform will be improved and the and it is not much distorted uh, like the, the six pulse now once again let's simulate that one and now the total harmonic distortion it is reduced this is 1.57 percentage and as per the IEEE 5.9 the requirement is 5 percent so this is within the limit and and if it's if it is found that still the limit is beyond 5 percent uh, still the result the outcome is coming more than uh, five percent limit so in that case we need to probably we need to that uh, you know that filter filter 
to be added with, uh, with this bus okay now coming to the coming to the next next table which which is uh, defining the requirement of that you know that current distortion limits for the current distortion limits maximum harmonic current distortion in percent of il and here this is the individual harmonic order and here the main thing is that isc by il so the short circuit current and load current ratio the ratio of short circuit current and load current that should be calculated that should be checked first if it is less than 20 if the ratio is isc by il is the ratio is less than 20 then it will follow this one so in most of the cases the first row is the first row is applicable that means the isc by il it is less than 20 per it is uh, the ratio is less than 20 only so in that case this harmonic content that will be four percent so all these figures are in percentage only so it should be four percent if it is more than 20 but less than 50 the ratio then in that case up to seven percent current harmonic is allowed let's validate this one here you can see this is 5.62 percent of total harmonic distortion this is 5.62 percent 5.62 percent this is 11 kb so 5.62 percent now you can see if it is 4 percent then then our result which is coming more than 4 but before that we need to we need to ensure whether this isc by il is coming under this row that means first row whether this ratio is coming less than 20 or the ratio is more than 20 and less than 50 if it is falling under this second row here up to seven percent up to seven percent of thd is acceptable it will allow but here this is 5.62 percent so 5.62 percent means it is acceptable but if the ratio is less than 20 then it is exceeding the limit so in that case in that case what to what to do first we need to we need to find out the value of isc by il the ratio of isc by il so how to find out isc by il for that let's run this load flow simple load flow analysis okay kilowatt cover so if we want to check that il load current this is 157.1 this is 157.1 amps if we snip this one okay and now we need to find out so so this is the il value of il load load current this is 157.1 amps so we have got this data il but what's about this isc so for isc data we need to find out the short circuit current here at this bus so for that for that we can we can check okay before that if we check this bus here and under this harmonic short circuit current it is not showing calculated this three phase volt kiloamps it is not showing it will not show here because we have not performed that short circuit analysis till now so for that purpose what we will do we'll go to this start protection mode we can do this from here also and we will create a fault here and now you can see here this is the run update short circuit kiloamps so if we run this then it will show this is 6.823 kiloamps 6.823 kiloamps and we can check from this bus editor also under this harmonic tab here previously it was showing zero now it is 6.823 kiloamps that means this value this is the short circuit current so 
we we have got this short circuit current 6.823 so what we will do we will calculate isc by il so this is 6823 ampere 6.823 kilo amps that means this is 6823 amps divided by what was the load current il value this is 157.1 by 157.1 amps so the ratio is coming 43 43 that means the ratio is 43 so this is falling under row number two that means isc by il it is uh, bigger than 20 so 43 it is coming 43 that means the current harmonic total harmonic distortion current that can be a level up to 7 percent up to 7 percent and here in our case in our case if we run again the harmonic analysis here it is 5.62 percent so this is this is acceptable this is under acceptable limit okay so now this point is clear and if we see uh, the bus 311 kb bus this is bus 311 kb the uh, spectrum this is the waveform and this is the spectrum here you can see the harmonic distortion level is low so this is acceptable but if it exceeds the value of 7% depending on the ratio of ISC by IL in that case we need to mitigate using filter okay that's fine one more thing I would like to show you under this harmonic tab here category this is general special or this is the PCC or mm, that means point of common coupling and here global com compliance rules here here is the local compliance rules under this local compliance local compliance rules here you can see okay as per IEEE 519 the voltage total harmonic voltage distortion 5% and current limit is three percent okay so these are these these are the defined values but it should be it should be from the from from the table from IEEE what I have seen here depending on the ratio of ISC by IL okay Here under local compliance rules, you can see uh, and see IEEE 519-2014. If you want to check these limits, what it is showing? Voltage, voltage here. This is the this is for kb less than less than equals to 1 kb this is for voltage level less than equals to 69 kb and this is the voltage total harmonic distortion so if we if we compare with this you know sorry just one second voltage harmonic distortion So this is this table uh, already I have uh, explained that uh, this table this is the voltage distortion limit this is from IEEE 5.9 if we compare these values on the here you can see this is the 8 percent 8 percent is the for, for the voltage level less than equals to 1 kb so this percentage is the 8 percent here also 8 percent 
for molds level less than equals to 69 kb this is 5 percent which is coming under row 2 here you can see this is 5 percent and voltage level is then equals to 161 kb this is 2.5 percent this is 2.5 percent likewise there is the current here is the current limit here is the current so if the isc by il isc by il for voltage level less than equals to 1 kb So if it is if the ratio is less than 20, the total harmonic distortion, current harmonic distortion, uh, it will be 5%. It will be 5%. Here is the 5%. Here is the 5%. And for 20 to 50, for 20 to 50, it is 8%. So this is 8%. This is 8%. So these are the total total harmonic distortion current harmonic distortion so from from here you can also check okay so up to this in this video in this uh, in these two parts i have i have uh, described uh, how to perform that harmonic analysis starting from the scratch and how to plot that one how to validate that uh, ieee 519 tables using etap software now uh, i will uh, cover that filter sizing calculation based on the requirement of this uh, total harmonic distortion limit if it is uh, exceeded then we need to use that uh, filter and for that we need to perform that sizing calculation using etap software it, uh, that is possible so that will be covered in a separate video.